Hey, what's going on guys? Magic Max here and today we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends series Avengers Movie Hulk from the year 2012. There's a lot of things to like about this figure. There are also things that aren't as good about it that but that's just that's just for the sake of it being an outdated figure. Right, so let's just get into the accessories. This thing which is okay, I guess. Other than accessories, we can take a look at the figure. Let's start with the head. Um, just so I can get close enough, I'll take the head off. So for the head, obviously it looks pretty good for Mark Ruffalo Hulk. It looks a little dumb. Like he looks like he has a paralyzed lower lip. It's not the best. It's a pretty good head sculpt. Obviously the hair, it's got nice brush to get the green over it. Very pronounced eyebrows. Pretty good. A look at the body itself. You can see for the torso, it has like little texturing Similar like elephant or rhino skin type of situation. I think it adds to the sculpt of it. Uh, no nipples, which is a little weird, but it's fine. I digress. Get down to the pants. Look pretty good. There's not any paint on this figure except for the head. The Hulk, pant, Hulk butt. Got the fat ankles. That's, the, that's another weird thing. I'll talk about this more in articulation, but the ankles are really weird. And then for the arms, it looks really good. I like the arms. This is a nice arm sculpt. Yeah, I do think that his arms, his forearms feel a little chunky compared to his biceps. And he doesn't really have any wrist. It just goes from forearm to hand. Like, it, there's not, it doesn't really get any narrower. The back looks good. It's got good musculature, obviously. That's the, probably the most important thing for a Hulk. Proportions are pretty good, I'd say, other than, like, the forearms. And for a Hulk, I guess you're not going to necessarily have very accurate proportions since he's a big gamma-powered monster no belly button so like we can talk about articulation as i said earlier it's just a stationary ball no hinge or anything so you don't get a lot of head movement you can look up that much look down that much you got a little bit of tilt side to side not barely any though um then you get to the diaphragm joint which does not go back enough because of how big the sculpt like how low the sculpt gets down here so you don't really get any range back but i don't think you really need to look back for hulk because he's a pretty big guy um, and but you can look down that much, which is pretty good because in the movie he was hunched over a lot. No waist articulation, but for the shoulders, the hinge does go down all the way, which is all right. It's definitely an outdated thing for Marvel Legend. Goes up that much. Got a bicep swivel, which is nice. And you get double jointed elbows, uh, which go to a little past 90, which is nice. And then for the wrist, it um, rotates and hinges up and down for both hands. And then you get down here. This is another outdated thing, Y joints. I'm the biggest fan of Y joints just because it's a little bit more, I wouldn't say labor intensive, but it does, it's just a bit more effort to articulate and it, I don't like it as much. It just feels, it feels weird. I, I don't, I'm not the huge, biggest fan of it, but you can get it up to kick that much for the leg here, I'll put the arms out of the way. You can kick out that far. You can, there's a thigh swivel, you get double jointed knees, which are actually really good for a Marvel Legend. That's really nice. Uh, did I, the legs can go out this far. I guess I should have said that as well. And then they don't go back. Oh, I guess, here, let me, let's see that. Uh, they go back that much. And then obviously the double jointed knees, as I already said, and then the ankles don't really go up at all, which makes it really hard to stand. That's about as far up as they'll go. They go down a lot like this like ballerina type of thing. The pivots, the ankle pivot. And so, and the thing I was saying is that there's not really a heel, so it looks like it has cankles almost, which is not the best. It looks just a little dumb. Uh, there's peg pulls at the bottom of the feet. And the, the feet sculpt, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned this. The feet are really nice for a figure. You know, it looks good. I could focus the camera. Um, yeah, the toe nails are pretty good. Pretty veiny. I don't want to talk about feet too long. That's it for articulation. Pretty good. I think that the articulation is very good for a Hulk. The Marvel Legends Hulk stands at about just shy of eight inches. So like seven and seven eighths, I guess you could say. So for the comparison, I have the Thor Ragnarok Loki, which is fitting because Hulk kind of beat Loki's ass. I think overall, out of 10, I'm gonna give this figure a seven because I think that the there's no paint and the ankles are a bit of a problem and I don't like wide joints and the shoulder hinges go all the way down. 
other than that, I think the articulation is really nice. A lot of it is just the fact that it's an older figure. It's kind of it's just outdated. That's, uh, that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on, follow me on Twitch. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.